The Onalaska Hilltoppers are your Division II one seed, and tonight was the WIAA Division II state championship. Onalaska dominated their way to the tournament, and before we get to the state final matchup against Pewaukee, let's recap how they got there from this morning. Coach Craig Kowal has done a fantastic job with this program, trying to bring back a state title for the first time in a decade. And in the semifinals, it was Evan Gamoki giving the Hilltoppers separation. He hit four big threes. And to seal the deal was 6'11", Gavin McGrath with a thunderous slam. So a 66-57 win brought them here, the D2 state championship, and Pewaukee came ready to play. Ashton Janowski in the corner, a four-point play. Hilltoppers down by double digits. And on the other end, it's McGrath with a hand in the face. It's not going to matter. McGrath knocks down the tray. Toppers trying to cut the deficit before the half. And then it's Sam Kick. Man, will I miss watching the senior handle the ball. Spins his way into space, throws up a prayer, and it's answered. That's three points on the board. But in the second half, Pewaukee making the extra pass. It's Milan Mumsilovic from beyond the arc. Pirates made nine three-pointers on the night. Anna does have a little 7-0 run, though. Here's Victor Desmond for two near the basket, but it was a little too late. Two-seed Pewaukee gets the job done, and Onalaska coming up short. They finish second in the state. Here's Scott Emmerich with more on the game. Scott. Declan, it's silver, not gold for the Hilltoppers tonight. On Alaska drowning in a sea of Pewaukee three-pointers. The Pirates made 8 of 13 from three-point range in the first half and building a 14-point lead, a lead the Hilltoppers were never able to overcome. We've, we've guarded extremely well all season long, and we knew we had difficult matchups going in, and they just made shot after shot. And when that happens, it kind of gets you on your heels. And... Uh, um, um, you know, we didn't finish the half quite as well as I would have liked. I just kept, kept on seeing uh, ball go through the hoop and swish after swish, and then it kind of took, um, kind of hit me a little bit, you know, kind of getting down more and more, but at the same time, still kind of believed that we could kind of turn this around, and then kind of as time went on, uh, they kept on hitting, and it was just kind of a tough situation we found ourselves. Just very appreciative of their efforts all year, and just appreciative that we we had these memories because we, you know, a few months ago we didn't, we didn't know what was going to happen. But uh, um, just very thankful to have this opportunity, and like I said, just proud to be these guys' as coach. So the Hilltoppers end their season with their only loss coming in the state championship game. Their state runner-up finish this year is their first ever state runner-up finish to go with three state titles. From the Lacrosse Center, Scott Emmerich, News 19 Sports.